Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, you know looking at the control panel what is required in here there's a few things the file explorer options most of them now are available through the file explorer uh, file history what's interesting here internet options no all that's old stuff uh, Microsoft Outlook. It's interesting that they address mail as Microsoft Outlook, even through the control panel. Um, BitLocker encrypt drive encryption is only in a control panel. It hasn't been moved to the settings app. I hope it does on 24H2 at some point if they want to turn it on. Uh, Windows Tools. So the Windows Tools, we've got all of this. Uh, task manager, task schedule, or system information. We have most of that in the uh, in the um, settings app. There's still quite a few things, you know, that we have to look at of what's in the control panel that isn't moved yet. Uh, sound, most of the sound stuff is there now. Storage spaces. So here's create a new pool and storage space huh power options there's still some stuff in the power options that we can't find in the settings app you know I mean if I change plan settings here it stays in the control panel so which means that these are still not moved on because when a setting is moved to the settings app in general what you'll have is a um, a move to settings when you click on the option. So there's still a lot of things that are missing, honestly. I um, find it interesting that they have started to say, well, you know, now we're going to deprecate. I guess they're going to start maybe just telling users that, you know, such and such setting is in the settings app. But it's hard to think that anytime soon they could remove this. There's still so many things that aren't really, you know, even in the apps, some of the programs that you install or not, there are things in there that are not showing up in the app lists. Uh, the Windows features on and off features, same here. Um, I think Microsoft has a lot of work to do before they can move us to just the settings app. I have a hard time believing that deprecation will be tomorrow. Uh, still too much. Plus, the compatibility issues, which is kind of interesting. What They're going to keep a core of control panel so that it's possible to have old apps running and things like that. Uh, it's kind of interesting. We'll see what happens with that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.